Hey, what's up, guys? It's Booker T, six-time world champ. I know you guys are checking out the beard, checking out the shine, checking out the gloss. Hey, if you want to know more, go to moreunique.com. Use promo code Booker. Because there was a, a documentary that came on the WWE Network. I wanted to kind of get your feedback and opinion on. Yeah. Um, it was called WWE Untold. Sting, right? And it talked about the match that Sting had with Seth Rollins at Night of Champions in 2000, I think it said 2014 or 2015. Yeah. Um, uh, it was a show that happened in Houston. Mm -hmm. and I was in attendance, and of course you were as well. Um, and for those who don't remember, it was Sting's last match because he took this buckle bomb, and uh, the second one rocked him, and yeah. he collapsed, and he finished the match. Shout yeah. out to him. I don't know how the hell he did it. But um, he finished the match, and that was his last time we saw Sting in the ring. What do you remember about that night, Sting's last match? You know, man, um, one thing about when you're out there performing, no matter how, you know, how good you are, how, you know, how young you are, how old you are, you know, it, it's, it, it seems to uh, overtake you. It seems to make you feel like, man, you could do anything. Um, until something happens. And I think um, that's what I remember more than anything. I remember watching Steen go out and perform that night. And Steen wanted to be able to go out there and do it just like he had did it every night before that. And um, that's one thing about the body, you know, when you, when you, especially the wrestling business. You know, we, all, we always say, you know, we got so many bumps on our bump card. You know, once, once we uh, punch it out, you know, anything can happen. And I think Sting was definitely at that point um, to where he had punched his bump card many, many, many times over. Um, I think his bump card was um, literally expired, um, you know, a couple of years uh, at that point in time, but he was still trying to push it. Um, and then to finally find himself in a WWE ring, he said, man, hey, I'm here. I got to go out there and do it, and I got to try to do it like the you know the sting of old, um, and that sometimes mean you know taking you know certain bumps. That means you know you know putting yourself in harm's way, um, and I think Sting said you know hey um, let's try that you know you that that moves you do yeah I, I don't I don't mind doing it, and I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it was something that you know he didn't second guess himself about, but uh, the way uh, Sting's body was you know you know working for him that that night. Um, being slightly off as far as positioning and landing the buckle bomb. Um, I tell you, man, the, the, the spine and the neck is it's, it's a very, very delicate piece of equipment. And, and, and we watched, you know, Paige, you know, yeah. you know, get hit in the back and boom. And, you know, we, we saw her body totally, you know, go in, in, in a direction that you go, wow, man, you know, did, you know, myself, I remember, um, working with Samoa Joe uh, one, one day at uh, TNA and he ran and I was at the I was at ringside and he was gonna come blast me from the backside and he blasted me and my neck like whiplashed and I remember going down to all fours and and my my feet you know all of my toes were just buzzing and, and all of my fingertips were just buzzing and I was like whoa Okay, what is this? You know, this is something different here. And um, I, and I think I told I might have told Joe, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. You know what I mean? And I and you go, what do you do in that situation, man? I just start praying. I was like, God, am I okay here? You know what I mean? And, and then I got myself together and uh, you know finished the match. And uh, I realized later on I had a, a, a disc problem in my neck. And um, Taking bumps like that was something like that. I did not ever want to do ever again. Otherwise, you know, you know, not only career could be you know threatened, but my life could be threatened. So when I saw it happen to Sting, I knew immediately um, something wasn't right. I knew immediately it happened. I, I go, oh man, that's not good. And then um, you know, the rest is pretty much what it was, uh, and. and that's why Sting's no longer, you know, clear to actually wrestle. I you know, right now. I remember though being at that show, and I remember we actually had. Um, remember Wale was in town because yeah. we had a big, you know, business meeting with him later in the night, and um, so I remember I was trying to entertain Wale a little bit. And we were watching the main event, and and, and as this thing was occurring, is when we kind of came back to meet up with you, and then um, the match finished or what have you, and Seth was in the back, 
And I remember they took Sting, I think, uh, in the medical room or what have you. And then I think he went in a in an ambulance. But I remember seeing Seth walking up and down the hallway. And he was still in his gear. He hadn't toweled off or anything like that. And yeah. he looked like he was in a daze. And he looked like he, he was thinking, man, I mean, did that really just happen? For you, I mean, were you ever in a situation where you were in Seth's position? I know, uh, you know you have a great reputation. There was never any real issues with you in the ring. But did, did you ever hit somebody or somebody went down? Somebody crashed and burned on their own when you were in the match and, and you didn't know how to react or, or you thought maybe it was your fault or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, actually it did. Um, and uh, and I, didn't, I didn't know if it was. I took the blame for it, I, I guess, because I was in the ring working them. But I knew the guy that I was working with, he worked just as hard as I did, maybe even harder. And um, I was working with Rick Martell, and um, I gave him a hip toss out of the corner, and he flew all the way to the other side, and his um, right leg got caught on the second um, rope, and his knee was actually on the ground, and his, his foot was still on the rope. He tore his ACL, that was, that was his last match, and it was with me. And um, I didn't know what, how to react, but Rick Martell, man, he powered through it, finished that match like it was nothing, man. I got so much respect for that dude, man. Uh, Rick Martell, you know, the model, you know, uh, one of the best of all times. Hey, guys, stick around. We'll be back in a minute.